Hello, my friends. Um, so this 14-3 is really kind of tricky, and I wanted to make a video going over the quick check. So right now, what we're doing is it is giving us a table here, and it's asking which line plot matches the table. So it's really a process of elimination. You just need to go through one by one and make sure you're picking the correct one. So here's how I would suggest doing it. First, you need to look at your lines. All of the lines are divided the same, meaning that this is three, this is three and a fourth, three and a half, three and three fourths, four, four and a fourth, four and a half, four and three fourths, five, five and a fourth, five and a half, five and three fourths. So um, I'm gonna go up to my chart and it says three and three fourths here and there should be two X's on that. Well, that means this one's out, A is out, B, there's two X's in the correct spot, C is out and D is out. Wow, so on the first try, I found the one that I think is right. So all I need to do is go back and make sure I did not make a mistake by going so quick. Four and a fourth should have five. So that's on four. Four and a fourth is right here and there are five X's. Five and a half has two. That's five and a half and there's two. Five and three fourths says one, which is here and six says one. So I'm feeling really confident about my answer. So for this, it's kind of, it's pretty much the same question, except they're not giving you a chart. They're giving you your data in a list and they're asking you to make a chart or tell it what chart matches that data. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna look at this first number, which is six and a half, and I'm gonna go through my data and see if there's any other six and a halves. So there's one here two and three. So I'm going to look here, six and a half is three, that means A could be a choice for me, B cannot, C could be correct, and D could not. So now I'm gonna take my next number in the data set, which is six and three fourths, check it, and it says one. So it looks like A is probably my correct answer, I will go down. This is looking very incorrect now because I only saw six and three fourths one time. So I, all I need to do is go back and check my six and one eighth and see if it's in there twice. One, two, two times. So I'm feeling confident with A as my answer. All right, shout out to Jarelli's. This question got me stumped probably two or three times and she helped me figure it out. So, what we need to do is take a, what's confusing about this is it's all numbers. Um, so, right here, the number of birds at the bird feeder, two. So that means there were two times he saw two birds. This means there was one time he saw five birds. Seven times, he, when he looked out the window, there were six and five times when he looked out the window, there were eight. So in order to tell um, the freak, um, how many different days he looked, you have to look at the frequency data. So what you would need to do is add up this right here, because this tells you how many times he looked out the window. So five plus seven is 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm going here and selecting next. Okay, um, so we're on the same chart again, and this time we're looking for what is the combined frequency, and when com combined is just a fancy word for add, and frequency, which means we're gonna use these numbers for six and eight birds. Well, six and eight birds are these two numbers here. Six 
was 7 and 8 was 5. So all I have to do is add these two numbers together. I get 12 um, as my answer. 7 plus 5 is 12. And I go on to my last question. And this is asking you, if you were going to um, draw out a line plot, which is the line, the number line with the X's on it, what should be your start point and your end point? So what you really need to do is look at your numbers here. And you want these numbers to fall in um, the range. So looking here, 2, 5, 6, and 8. Does that best match numbers between 0 and 10, 0 and 50, 5 and 10, and 5 and 20? I can tell you starting with 5 is a bad choice because all of, then automatically you get that data will not be on, this whole line will not be on your chart. So we really need to start at 0. And we could do to 50, but there's no number higher than 8. So there's no point in going all the way to 50 for this. Zero to 10 makes the most sense. So good luck and submit your answer. Get 100% and be proud of yourself.